Right it is, the new specialized Levo Gen 3 looks amazing on paper, but do we want to see it on paper? I say let's just ride it. Riders, welcome back to Sands Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes. And today, so excited, it's Levo 2020, the new one, the Gen 3. What a beast. So we're gonna do a shakedown ride. I've only had the bike for about five hours. And let me tell you, riders, I haven't had a lot of sleep because I need to get this video out today. So we're gonna do shakedown ride. Then I'm gonna give you my thoughts of the bike and a bit more details and make sure you subscribe because next Sunday I'll be doing my 100K real thoughts of the bike. So riders, let's go. And we're off. First shakedown ride on the Levo. Let's do it. So shakedown rides can be dangerous because the bikes aren't set up properly. You know, the brakes aren't fed in properly, but hey mate, I'm excited, super excited. So the first, first feel of the Levo is Feels stiff, man. Like, it feels like a bit of a truck. Uh, you got 38s at the front. It's got a new sort of suspension linkage design that's that's stiffer. And yeah, it just feels good. Feels long. Coming from my, so I'm riding a, what I've got an S4, which has a reach of 475, I think. And. Yeah, on my SL, that's got, it's a large, and that's got a reach of 455. So yeah, it definitely feels longer. It's a trail bike, but it's more an enduro side trail bike. You know, we've got 160 at the front. We've got 150 at the back. Whoa, running on mullets. Whoa, that was pretty clean. Running on mullets. And the chain stay, I believe, is 4.47. And right, it's only going to be a mullet configuration. You will not be able to make a 20, a 29er. Well, we almost lost it then. So it feels good, real good. I know shakedown rides can be dangerous. The bike isn't set up. The so riders, sorry, I'm not going that fast today. And uh, and also, I got the bike like at four o'clock yesterday afternoon, and I've had very little sleep, so I'm so excited. But if I could explain the suspension, it feels pretty progressive. Like it definitely sits up in its travel. That's what I love. I love a progressive bike. I think obviously I'm gonna to need to do some fine tuning. I'm loving the fact that it's coming with Magura brakes. And also the tires are the new butchers from Specialized. They've got softer compound at the front. And look, I'm finding them pretty good. Like, this is pretty dry out here. And I felt the traction real good. And riders, I have to say a massive shout out to everyone that's been watching the channel. You know, without you guys, the channel really is nothing. And, you know, Specialized for letting me test this product early. I'm not sure how long I've got the bike for, but you can be sure that I'm gonna do a 100K first look, first review on Sunday. So in like five days time. So make sure you subscribe. And I've got to also thank 
the channel sponsors, Schwabi, Ride Concept, and the Industry Nine. Just helping keep the lights stay on. And wow, I am one of the luckiest guys to be riding this bike today. Riders, that's the first shakedown ride of the new Levo. And what did I think? Well, I'm in love. It's a great bike, as you would expect from Specialized. It's super fun. The travel is more progressive than I thought it would be. I'm really sitting up in the travel and it definitely suits my style of riding. Obviously, it's the first shakedown ride, so I've still got lots to set up. But let's have a look at the bike. The new Levo is coming in at 22.1 kilos, running on mullet wheels, 160 up front and 150 in the rear. Fox 38s, X2 float, Magura MT7, wireless shifting, wireless dropper, carbon bars, carbon wheels, carbon cranks. Bros Mag S 2.2 motor, which has a stronger belt and updated firmware, a 700 watt hour battery, and in size four, it's coming with a 475 millimeter reach, chain stay of 447. Six different geometry changes like the stunt jumper has, which just won trail bike of the year from pink bike. With this geometry change, it will see your head tube going from 63 and a half all the way to 65, and also dropping your bottom bracket to two heights. So it's pretty cool and it's really nice to see Specialize, you know, allowing the rider to have that input. Because I am a bit of a geek when it comes down to this, when I see the bikes, I really just want to see the geometry straight away and see if it works for me. And the Levo gets a new brain. That's right, the Mastermind. The Mastermind is kind of like the brain for the Levo and it's a little bit like a Garmin. So basically when you turn it on, it's a very small color display and you can see Eco, Trail and Boost. You can also see how much battery you have left, but you also have three displays. So three kind of data fields, so you can flip between all of them. And also something really interesting for me is you can attach your heart rate monitor, which is really cool because I'm kind of getting sick of having to have my Garmin charged, my bike charged, everything charged. So I think I'm gonna use this a lot. Another thing that's really cool, you can do micro adjusting on the run. So let's say you're in trail and you're out on a ride and you're with your mates and they're riding a little bit too fast. You see your heart rate like going up to like 160, 170. You can actually hold down the plus button and it will allow you to go into trail setting and go up in 10% increments in power. So you don't have to take your phone out, you don't have to do anything. You know, a lot of the problem when I go out riding is you know sometimes it's like that and you end up going to boost and you're not getting as much of a workout and you start draining your battery. So this is awesome, such a great idea. And now let's look at the sizing. The new Levo comes in six sizes, which is very impressive. We've got the S1 up to the S6. And if you're not familiar with the new sizing of Specialize, Specialized are kind of thinking that bikes shouldn't be small, medium, and large. They're thinking more about the end user and how that rider wants to ride that bike. So I'm 183 centimeters and I'm riding an S4, which has a reach of 475 millimeters. Now I could ride an S3 or an S5. And what is that gonna do? So an S3 is gonna be more playful in the corners and if you want to jump a little bit more, you're going to be able to move the bike around a little bit more. Uh, but saying that, the S5 is going to be harder to turn around in corners, but when you're pointing it straight down the hill, it's going to be faster because it's got a longer wheelbase. So it just is going to make it more stable. And also, if you're like someone that's starting out and you're not really sure about the sizing, a shorter bike is not going to make you so stretched out and if you don't want to go too aggressive and you just want to ride, probably a smaller bike might be nicer for your neck and your lower back. But what I recommend, size is so important. Go to your local bike shop and get fitted up. Maybe do a loop around the car park and you're going to know straight away. And now let's talk about models, spec and price. The new Levo is going to be available in the S-Works, which you see here, and the Pro. The Levo S-Works is so well equipped, it's coming with Magura MT7 brakes, full wireless shifting and seat post. You got carbon wheels, carbon crates, carbon handlebars, all done by Specialized. You got the top 
end 38 Kashima and the Float X2, which is my favorite rear shock. But right as it is coming at a price, it's coming at 13,999. And that's in Europe. Uh, these prices might change in different districts. And I'm gonna say, yeah, it's not a cheap bike. It's a pretty expensive bike. But I see these bikes like supercars, like a Ferrari or a Porsche. And you know, you get what you pay for. This bike is absolutely amazing. And all right, as that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the first shakedown ride of the Levo. I loved it, I had so much fun. And riders, just remember, if you have any questions on the Levo or anything about Evox, hit me up. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you name it, I'm there, I'll reply to you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This Sunday, we'll be doing the 100K first thoughts of the bike. And riders, stay safe out there. And I'll see you next Sunday.